OpenAI CEO, the father of ChatGPT, Sam Altman, is visiting South Korea this week at the invitation of the country's Ministry of SMEs and Startups. His visit is timely that AI regulations are high on the agenda in countries around the world. For more, we're joined by Professor Park Joo-young from KAIST this morning. Welcome to the program. Uh, thanks for having me. Good morning. Altman said back in March that he would visit a total of 17 countries, including South Korea, UK, France, and Australia. Why mm. is he taking his time to visit so many countries? I mean, what is his trip to Tsar about? Yeah, so, well, he's the CEO of the hottest outfit in tech right now, and Chad JPT has had the most impact in recent memory, both technological and psychological. So Korea would want to hear from him since it is clearly lagging in language AI like the chat GPT. So, and since he has been invited by the Ministry of SME, small to medium enterprises and startups, it appears that, top, appears that the topics uh, discussed will circle around tech research and business opportunities for domestic companies. Right. Like I mentioned earlier, countries and organizations around the world are looking to come up with AI regulated rules and regulations over those worries about the side effects of the technology. Elvin himself has pointed out the need for an international body to control AI like IAEA. What's your take on this? So there is this fear regarding AI's potential harms, especially the danger when the level of automation is so high that some catastrophic decisions could be made by AI without human supervision. And some have even argued for a freeze on AI research for a few months, or as you say, an AIEA-like organization that can oversee AI development. But there are some practical issues and suspicions over these motivations. First, unlike nuclear programs that require large-scale facilities and produce detectable traces of uh, radioactive material, AI is basically a computer software that can be made on a laptop in a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to fathom how the quote-unquote freezing of research can be enforced at all. Should all computers be turned off with a threat of a prison sentence? It's like banning cooking because somebody says a fire can start a nuclear reaction in the kitchen. Right. And second, yeah, second, are we really sure that the industry leaders will cut into their own leading AI by not doing what they're good at? And those who are playing catch up like Korea, will they really be motivated to let the gap with the big boys grow by stopping for a while? So before they voluntarily take actions first, I doubt that people will be fully trusting of their words at the moment. Right. But the European Union is looking to pass AI Act into law within this year. Now, if it is passed, Professor, will it do anything really to tame AI-related worries and concerns? I mean, including ethical issues. What will that mean? So the goal of the act is to limit certain uses of AI, for instance, face and emotional recognition that could uh, infringe upon individual liberties and freedom and ultimately harm an open free society. So the act itself is well-intentioned, but it's still too early to conclude that all the concerns will have been addressed with a piece of legislation because AI still is a developing tech. And so I suspect that there are still so many unknown or unrecognized issues out there. So we have to keep in mind that regulations can alter the speed and direction of an uh, innovation. So it is hard to tell the exact impact of the act on the future. So if the act stifles innovation and makes the EU fall behind the US, for instance, it could well lose support. Then do you think we have, do we, because uh, as far as I know, we don't have any regulations on AI at the moment here in South Korea, but do you think we should expect AI regulations from South Korea in the future? So, well, Korea's economy is heavily science and tech oriented and deeply coupled with the industrialized nations. So if they are moving in that direction, Korea will have to follow suit eventually. Mm -hmm. But seeing how far behind Korea is in some crucial area of AI, for instance, the language AI like the ChatGPT, I doubt that there's much appetite for regulation at the moment. Mm. And also, we as a society have yet to build a consensus on issues like what we do or do not want from AI, what is culturally acceptable or not. So there's still a long ways to go. Right. All right, Professor Bak Joo-young, thank you so much for your insight this morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you.